Hi, and welcome back to Always Dolls. Today, we will be creating a simple version of American Girls baking and decorating set. To help our dolls get in the festive mood, let's start with the gingerbread cookies and dough. For this craft, I used air dry clay. Mix two parts brown with one part white. The clay blends together to make a lovely golden brown, perfect for gingerbread cookies. Using the dough from the Gourmet Kitchen set as my guide, I measured a rectangle 8cm long by 6.5cm wide. Now, take your clay and roll it out slightly larger than this rectangle, as the clay will shrink slightly when dried. Using a doll size rolling pin, Press it into the centre of the clay. This will create a dip in the dough. Gently use your hands to curve the edges and to square the sides of the dough. With a toothpick, you can texture your dough. It's easy to scratch into the air dry clay. You can also flick to make the clay fluffy. Here is how it looks so far. To create the look of sprinkled flour, use a small tipped dotting tool and white paint to make dots. Vary the size of your dots. Make some small and others large. Keep going and cover the whole surface of your dough. Roll out the remaining clay. It's time to make cookies. You can choose any shape here. I made a simple gingerbread man cutter from paperboard and covered it in packing tape so that it wouldn't stick to the clay. I was able to cut out four gingerbread men and four candy cane shapes. Now, let them dry overnight. To decorate, I chose to use puffy paint in gloss red, white and green. For the gingerbread boy, I started by outlining the pants shape with red, then filled it in. I then outlined and filled his shirt with green paint. When working with multiple colours, it's best to wait around 20 minutes after applying the first colour, so it should be touch dry before moving on to the next colour. This will help avoid the colours unintentionally mixing or bleeding into each other. I waited two hours before using the white puffy paint to draw the clothing details. This brand of puffy paint was thicker and not as good quality, so drawing zigzag lines and small dots was difficult. For the bow tie shape, I made a figure eight and then filled it in. Again, it was tricky working with this brand of paint to draw the finer face details. For the gingerbread girl's bow, I took the puffy paint out further than the curve of her cookie head. Once fully dry, the puffy paint will be very hard and it should hold its shape, no worries. I decorated the candy canes using the same colours as the American Girl set. For the cookie tray, I found this eraser set at Kmart, then I spray painted the tray silver. It's the perfect size for our gingerbread cookies. I hope your dolls enjoy a gingerbread cookie treat this Christmas. Simple, easy, it's and as always, delicious. 